Okay, on the last section of 103, part 2 on LPQ1 videos, and we are talking about text processing, we covered how you can view your streams in different formats like OD for octals, then we see how we were able to choose parts like splitting head, tail, especially tail dash F, and then modifying the string, sort and unique was important. Also, the set was super powerful. Now on the last section, we are talking about getting stats and metadata, meta information, not sure what should be called, hashes of different files. First, let's see the WC. Always see your WC before going to class. Uh, we have... What can we check? Okay, we had this distros, like, right? Cat dist txt. All the distros sorted. So I can pipe them to unique until, okay, give me just the unique ones. Or I could do unique dist txt easier and cleaner. Okay, now I have this. How many distros are here? How many distros my friend talked about? I can pipe this to WC. WC will tell me here you have seven lines, seven words, and 48 characters. Because each line do have only one word, so lines and words are same. Lines, words, and number of bytes, or here, characters. So, in general, my friends do use seven distros. How many friends did I ask? This was the main file. So, if I do WC distros, it will give me 18. So, I have 18 lines, 18 words, because each line do have only one word, and 121 bytes, or characters so i've asked 18 friends about their distros another question how many words are there in the alice in wonderland book i have the text so i can say wc alice it says okay this book do have this text file do have this many new lines this many words and this many characters this is using the bug as a feature you can argue okay this book had an intro had blah blah okay whatever this file does have this much data in it it's very 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 common to use wc-l on alice this will show only the number of lines again this happened i hate it when this happened it is a little bit strong, but why this happened? I have to find out. So when you say word count dash L, I need only the lines. So it will give you only the lines. This is very common to use WC dash L. For example, how many files do we have in this directory? Hmm. LS dash one will show them one file per line or like this even. So I will do, oh, here it is showing one extra. So remember this. I will say this, give this output to WC and show only the line numbers. So 14 is this. So this will be 13. I have 13 files here. It's very common to do this. It's very common to grab things, find something, then count with wc it's very very well used command wc print new line word and byte count of each file and dash l will show you the lines in the input okay uh, after that i have the hashing but first let's speak about what is hashing hashing algorithm uh, maybe it's better to say we are talking about cryptographic hashes. A hash is a function. I'm going to be mad. A 
hash is a function which gets an input as any function generates an output hash functions in computer world especially in cryptography the ones we're talking about will get whatever input you give them and will generate a pseudo random like string with specific number of bytes so for example sha to this hash algorithm this is name of the command in linux world will get whatever input you give it a file a data a text whatever text stream or any stream it can be binary non-text will run on it and will generate 256 bits of data as its output if you repeat this process thousands time with the same input you will get the same output let's try it once for example I have a file here it is this H and I can do SHA 256 sum on this file if we say okay if I run my algorithm on this file this will be the output if I repeat it thousands time the result won't change there is no way to find the input having this hash but whenever we have the same input we will get this hash with this specific algorithm we have three famous ones which you know you should know about them in lpic one md5 sum so if you run this on the edge it will give you this sha 256 we saw it sha 512 sum will give you twice the length of the previous one this one this one and this one this is considered old is not used much anymore doesn't consider to be safe but these two are good in most of the cases you will see this if you want to be full bulletproof try this but what is the usage of this hash algorithm say I have a book and it is called Alice in the Wonderland I can read it with this and I want to send this book to you I will send the file for you you will get it you read it and say this was not a nice book it says how come all oh, this is great maybe someone changed it in the middle can you please run md5 sum on your book your friend you call him or her or it or whatever you use and you say please run md5 sum on your Alice book he or she or whatever will run it then you will check with your friend if his hash is the same thing that you have say okay mine is 1829c6f9 and finishes with 3323a says oh no mine is totally different you say okay someone has changed the book this is one of the usages if you do the slightest change in the book for example if I just change one capital T to one lower T remember it and calculate the MD5 sum it's totally a different sum so you can if you know this you will share that you have the same file this happens in many sites when you want to find download for example Fedora's latest version there is an ISO file and there is a file or in their site they said okay this is it's md5 sum hash is this so when you downloaded your file you can run md5 sum on it and see if you got this if anything have changed during the download a hacker a cracker a bad packet although it shouldn't happen a bad sector whatever if you have slightest one bit of change in your ISO your hash will be totally different than what is announced on the site this is the usage another usage is when you want to log in in a site you say okay my password is blah blah you say okay we hash your password and we save it somewhere with SHA 256 sum I didn't give any input so it's waiting for my input I say okay my pass is pass Jody control D will finish it the site will save this 
in its database and says, okay, Jadi's SHA-256 sum is this. So it has in its database Jadi 296F blah, 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 777. If a hacker reaches this database, they will only get this. And it's kind of impossible to find my password from this hash. There are ways, but they are very time consuming, very, very pricey. And it's much safer than having past Jody in their database. Next time when I want to log in, it tells me, okay, give me your password. I give my password. It tries the same algorithm and check if it's compatible with this, if it reaches the same thing. If yes, it says, okay, your passwords were correct. If not, it says, okay, you cannot log in. This is how a site can check my password without having my password. They have the hash of my password. This is a very useful algorithm used in many different places. So what we do is we should know about MD5 sum, SHA-256 sum, and SHA-512 uh, sum. When this is longer, it's safer. Nowadays, if you are doing a real encryption, real checksum, whatever, you never use this. You always use one of the SHA algorithms or newer ones. Anyway, this was the understanding of the hashing. I'm sure you know more than what is needed for LPIC 1. Hope you had fun. This was a long journey, but this was cool. The next session is even better.